Hey, it's Elise Wondering Hummingbird coming to you from Cabo San Lucas. Yes, I did go to the beach today and it was amazing because honestly, with everything going on, we're not underneath mandatory quarantine in Cabo right now. Um, the resorts are closed, the hotels are closing, um, but I mean, my business up in Seattle, everything up in Seattle has, it, it feels like I'm there even if I am down here. Oh, it has been pressuring and like collapsing and it's there's so much fear and there's so much uncertainty and there's so many things going on so my head hurts I have just been doing a whole lot of thinking and um, I was just on the phone with my basically my business coach and we were talking about you know uh, doing this doing videos doing pictures doing Instagram doing hashtags and all that and I'm just like oh god my head hurts it hurts here it hurts at the back back in here um, and so I figured I'd come on and give you guys a video of you know how to release a little bit of the stress now of course I'll be holding my phone because I don't have the handy set set up right now I will I will get that so I can not have to hold my phone while I'm trying to massage myself but we'll go from there anyway so <clears throat> for starters a little bit of anatomy um back of the head this place right here i'm hoping that you're seeing this accurately i'm gonna pull it back it's right here where the shade part is that's where i'm feeling a lot of my tension right now and yes my hair is everywhere because i went to the beach so sorry anyway so my occiput is really really kind of like aching and hurting and it's shooting pain up into the front so we're going to focus on the occiput now i'm going to do it with one hand you can do it with one hand you can do it for two and I'm going to go in the back and I'm going to grab my purple. I love it. I'm going to grab right here. My hand is like this. Grab right here. And I'm going to squeeze. And I'm just doing a squeezing. And I'm just going to do a squeeze and let my face rest and do a deep breath in and do a squeeze and so if you feel you have your spine right in the middle of your neck your fingers should be cupping on one side of the spine so if i'm doing um this side my fingers are going to be cupping like this and pretend my nose is the spine so i'm cupping like this and i'm squeezing right at that occiput line i'm squeezing so i'm going in here and i'm squeezing and i'm just going to hold it deep breath in and then I'm just going to squeeze like this. And so you don't want to hurt your hands, right? But you just kind of want to have that like that general compression of like you're squeezing a stress ball, but you're doing it on your neck. My actually my my left side already feels a shit ton better, which is really nice. So I'm just going to do that all the way up and down. I'm going to do it all the way down to my trap, which is right down here. You can see I'm squeezing, 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 squeezing up. And then I'm gonna shake it out. So right now my left side is much lighter. I'm gonna go on my other side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing up at the occiput. I'm gonna squeeze. Deep breath in. I'm feeling some referred pain in my ear while I'm doing this. You know, there's gonna be referrals. It's gonna shoot to something. If it doesn't shoot to something and it just feels really good there, perfect. So I'm really getting right underneath that occiput. Deep breath in, and exhale, and then I'm gonna keep squeezing. So you can sit and hold it for a long period of time, if that feels beneficial. You can do just short squeezes. The main thing is, is to do a very nice squeeze and pressure, squeeze and pressure, all the way down your neck, all the way down, doing a real nice squeeze. If you feel like your hands aren't that, you know, like strong or anything, that's okay. You know, even some squeeze is gonna be very important. So squeeze all the way down, squeeze all the way down. And right now, my neck feels a lot better. Now I still have some pressure right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay back and I'm just going to have my hand like this underneath my occiput while breathing in and breathing out. And just letting your head settle I know I'm holding my phone so it's a little harder, but letting your head settle into it. And it's starting to loosen up right above my eyebrows, which is wonderful. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do like little like these around my eyebrows. I'm going to do this. 
So my hand is like this, and I'm literally like wiping away. Like I'd be wiping away sweat, but I'm doing it with a little bit of pressure from my fingers. So wiping away, wiping away. I'm gonna do my other hand. A little bit of rotation right on your eyebrow. And then I'm gonna wipe away. And so when I'm wiping away, my thumb is coming in here, and I'm wiping away, wiping away, wiping away. Oh, that feels so good. And as always, head massage, just a nice smush. I do the claw hand, and then I do like this. Oh yeah. So I'm doing just the middle of my head. I found like the soft point, which is like kind of like this dip in the head, and I'm just rotating around on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so yeah, that's just a little bit. Right now, my head is feeling a lot better. I'm feeling a lot clearer. Um, I can see my eyes are a little bit like softer because they're not like pained. And I hope that this helps somebody. If you're looking to schedule an online virtual massage, I'm doing them right now. Um, they're $20 for 30 minutes. We do a small consultation. We talk about what's going on and then we get into self-massage. Or if you have fan friends or family members that are with you, they can join in so I can actually teach. Um, an example is if a uh, husband and wife team were together, boyfriend, girlfriend, or you know, mom, daughter, anything like that, I can actually show you how to work on each other because... I've had to do it before, and it's pretty cool, and I look forward to seeing you online. Talk to you later. Um, see you from Cabo St. Lucas by Wondering Hummingbird Elise.